All right, family. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I'm trying to find out who's with me when I say, why did Bill Barr resign or get fired or whatever the hell he did? Why is he not there? Um, and does it have anything to do with he just don't want to be on this last move? Because after I seen that move with the Proud Boys, you know, and it's still been bothering me, and being allowed to go into the black church with that madness. And um, nobody respond. Not even the mayor. I got a problem with that. So I got to know who feels like me. Am, is, am I in this by myself? Have I gone so far out there that nothing makes any sense and this makes sense to y'all? But how do we get to a bunch of white people? Although I did see a few flies in the buttermilk, which, which were an embarrassment. Which are an embarrassment oh, with a MAGA hat on and allowing them, knowing the historical factor that re, that that's that's at play when you talk about white people and black churches, you know, the bombing, the burning of black churches, uh, Dylan Roof, and how dare you as a black person to even be associated with something like that. So that's what let me know it takes all kinds of mentally ill people. Second of all, where was the mayor? Why didn't she do her thing? I mean, it was good and fine when she went out there and painted Black Lives Matter in the streets, right? But when they came and destroyed the churches, you did nothing. You didn't call out the National Guard. You didn't do shit. What is going on? Brace yourself, y'all. We really, 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 really have to brace ourselves for what's coming down the pipe. And y'all want to keep on discussing all this stupid stuff that don't make no sense? Go right ahead. Okay? But I'm not stuck on stupid and dangling on dumb. I I really ain't. And um, there's something down the pike. Then you got to think about the arrested uh, Grandmaster Jay. Then let him back out with all these stipulations, but get Proud Boys and them just busting in churches and stuff. And nobody is being held accountable. Do you think maybe they put him in storage because... They wanted to make sure that he wasn't allowed to gear up um, uh, maybe a million or uh, 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 2,000 rifles and meet them in D.C. It's a possibility. I think it's a possibility. That's why they made sure uh, when they put those certain kind of stipulations on his uh, release is probation. I don't know. At this point, what I saw yesterday is something I had never seen in my 60 more years of living. And that's uh, the, the, the damn president of these United States egging people on. He had told the Proud Boys, one of the Proud Boys the leader was in um, uh, the White House earlier, but they said, oh, he was just there for a tour. Mm, you think? And then right after he left there, not long after, you saw what you saw. All this because he lost the election. And there's that many mentally ill people in America. There's that many sick people here. 
Uh, a lot of people got mad when I said this country was built on narcissism. And uh, the, the the whole uh, uh, um, idea behind Donald Trump and his Trumpeters are is projection. All they do is project on the other people what the hell they're thinking, what they're doing. They're liars, master liars. And they're a, a cult. I lived through Jim Jones. I watched this shit. Uh, David Koresh. But I have to say, uh, Jim Jones was the worst because I saw him personally. And I ain't going to never forget that. I saw him on a Savior's Day. I believe it was 1976. And um, I knew then he, he, he was charming, just like Donald Trump. You know? Charismatic. But he said something that rubbed me the wrong way is when he said, because I'm too much of an, a rebellious spirit, I guess, uh, when I hear somebody say something that's one person speaking for all, you know, well, are all of us going to be there. You don't have to worry about us. All We'll be there, all of us. And I said to myself at that the mosque in Mount Merriam, Mosque Merriam, how in the world does he know where everybody is going to be? And he can just make that claim out there. Later on, the rest is history. Y'all know who Jim Jones was and what he did. And all those people I saw that followed him to Savior's Day, I believe it was 75, 76. Most of those people were dead now. And they were dead not too long after that because they went to a remote place with this crazy man. and. They drank the Kool-Aid. And I'm seeing it's a lot of racist people in America. A lot of white men that are just out of control. And white women who gave birth to those white men. And they have no um, sense of history. No sense of um, any kind of, I hate to say it, but intelligence. Because they don't read. Because if they read something, they wouldn't even be out there with Donald Trump. Even if they read something like, <laughs> what is a personality disorder? And the reason why you can't recognize it is because you've been so afflicted by it. Maybe in your own uh, home. Maybe the people that you're around that you're addicted to toxicity and uh, chaos and drama. Some people are addicted to that, you know. Anybody in in that was that's that's and I hate to use the word normal and abnormal, but I don't know what else fits. Anybody that has a symbol, a, at least a symbol of normalcy in them, they, Donald Trump creates an anxiety because that's not how. Like, listen, nobody can be mad every fucking day, every single day. You mad, 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 mad. mad. That's why anybody that talks like that, I got to get away from them. The conditions are going to change. Nobody promised us nothing if we made it to this level of existence. You have free will. You can fight for anything. But nobody promised you nothing. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. Alone with the sunshine. There's got to be a little rain sometime. I mean, so accept it. But what you don't have to accept, I mean, is when you see people who are hell-bent on snuffing off your life, then they're supposed to be some type of Self-preservation mechanism that kicks off in you. Not um, a spirit of, ooh, what they going to do next? What's going to happen next? Sometimes you have to be the person to initiate. And right now, everybody needs to be initiating um, that's on the side of righteousness. 
to hold these people accountable, to call, uh, uh, charge Donald Trump with treason, charge him with sedition, get him out of office on a, a, a Article 25. This is not normal, people. So I can't believe I'm the only one that feel this. I can't believe it. All my peoples out there, y'all already know. And I see we got a few new subscribers. And I really do want to shout y'all out. Um, Because I know <clears throat> um, I've just been, it's just been a, um, um, a wreck around here. And as a lot of y'all know, I have two elderly parents who are still living. One, I'm blessed. <laughs> it's the blessing and the cursing. Um, one is 85 and, uh, and the other one is 87. And, um, so there's a lot of times when I am, um, uh, managing to care for them or, um, uh, facilitating cares for them in their respective places, it can, uh, you know, tie up a lot of my time. Um, but. One thing we do in African culture, and I'm okay with it, I'm okay with it, is that we don't allow another culture's idea of how we treat our elderly and our babies to dominate our thinking. We have to stay true to who we are. And if we don't know, we need to go back and look at some of the things that um, were just pure um, African culture and so, some of the things that we wonder why we keep doing or we, we, we don't feel comfortable with. Well, that's because innately it's not a part of our cellular memory. So you should honor that. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I know I had a, uh, uh, a problem with that, uh, at some point, but a lot of my, uh, subs helped me get through that as well. Um, and I want to thank y'all out there. Um, uh, that that made me have a different perspective on um, the things that were happening, and um, you know what what level of patience or what level of a, a detachment that I had to uh, exercise in order to deal with it. And I must say, y'all have given me some great advice. So I want to take the time and thank each and every one of y'all out there. Some of y'all been riding with me from the beginning. <laughs> and I've um, not been able, because I'm hoping in the new year, I'm able to do some uh, different things and interact with y'all a little bit more. Because as I go through the list, some of y'all have been rocking with me for a long time. And some of y'all have lifted me through some of my darkest days. And for that, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. And I hope that this channel has done something for you. Because we all in this together, right? And I know that in my mind, I can never, ever, ever say all. Because if I was to look at white people and how they performing right now, Donald Trump, and if I thought all white people was like that, you know, all my of guys like John Hughes and people that I've worked with uh, 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 or John Brown, for instance, these people couldn't exist or Viola Uso. And so I have to focus on those people, but stay aware of them people and keep focused on a lot of people are comfortable with mental illness in America. And now you're seeing it. You are seeing it. I mean, it's, it's, it's right in our face. We can't hide from it anymore. We can't be like, oh, that's just an isolated incident. Why did Bill Barr leave? Why did he leave? Why are we looking at people 
who don't mind going in churches just like they did years and years ago and disturbing people's peace and being hateful. And you see how when you're not original, you can't come up with nothing fresh. You got to go back to your old ways. That's how I know you're not the original man. You're not creative enough. You're not creative at all, actually. That blueprint that you're using right now from George Wallace, from Adolf Hitler, it's all so sad. It's all so sickening. You know, because we are supposed to evolve as a species of human beings. And right now, we're not, from a bird's eye view, looking down on us, we're some sick fucks. Even the coward black men that go and shoot up each other and shoot, blast each other down and uh, pull drive-bys and um, home invasions. But they won't take their gangs and counteract that kind of shit right there that you see out marching the streets and ch tearing down Black Lives Matter signs. Why you won't take your ass out there and deal with that since you like to get down like that? It's like a ball of confusion. It is. And that's what it is. But I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. Please tell me what you think about William Barr. Do y'all think that his ass really got something else planned for us? I mean, really. Think about it. Do you think that he's decided, I better jump off this ship right now. Well, I got a chance. <laughs> and, uh, because something else about to come down the uh, pipe. I want to give a shout out to Sandra Essex. Lucky the Wolf. Uh, the Exciator. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for being out there. Um, um, and, and my thing becomes. What are we going to do, people? What are we going to do? You know, because now the 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 projection is at an all time high. The evilness is at an all time how high. Excuse me. The arrogance and this the um, energetic oppression that is being put on us. And now it doesn't matter if you on the side. If, if, if who's on the Lord's side, right? That's how I look at it. Who's on the Lord's side? Who stand for good and who stand for? Because if you on that side where you like every single day to be having your nervous system jumping up and down, all this kind of crazy, something wrong with you. You need to get checked out and quickly. And for those proud boys and for the those who can't handle the truth, just like two year old, my two year, my grandbaby. Handle the truth. That's the first sign of a weak coward where you can't even accept defeat. You can't even accept anything where you, you got to retaliate. It's called a narcissistic injury. And now we get ready to get dumped on because this fool lost the election. I know you out there live fully and I appreciate you too for every time you make a great a comment. Um, Thanks for being out there. Um, I mean, come on, y'all. I don't know. Let me just let me just stop and leave y'all some space for y'all. Okay. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And if y'all think that I should come on here and go live a little bit more, I really want some feedback. I, 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 I'm, if if you tell me yeah, because sometimes I just feel like. I got enough stuff on my plate. I really ain't making no money on YouTube. So I'm doing this because it's therapy for me. It's not even driven by monetization at all. Okay. Um, but my point is, uh, if, if, if conversing with people during this pandemic will bring us together, will make us feel a little more comfortable with, with, with just having a conversation with like-minded 
the people. I'm here for I'm here for it. I really am here for it. And I want some suggestions um about what y'all think. Um I'm gonna do a little survey. Um if I was to go live, you know, I think what the the middle of the week or the beginning of the week, end of the week. Um those are those are uh, some of the things I, I wrestle with. So um you know, let me know what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think. Just, you know, either <clears throat> put it in the comment section below or shoot me an email. But I'm really, really anxious to uh, interact with a lot of y'all a little bit more with this pandemic because I'm so full of anxiety sometimes. Disky Billy, I'm telling you, <laughs> create progress. Yes. I am. Sometimes I'm just so uh, ang um, like angry that this could be happening. You know, in in my lifetime, this is madness. And the future people are gonna look back at this time and say, "What the hell was really going on?" And the people sat by and did nothing. They sat the hell by and did nothing, and let that man run amok just like they did Adolf Hitler. Let him run amok. And those Nazi soldiers ran around doing what these people are doing now. And guess what? Now these hypocrites want to bring these uh, uh, people to justice? When they find some of them old officers that worked those camps at Auschwitz and shit, now they want to bring them to justice? Hell, that's what y'all doing now. <sighs> okay. Let me know if I'm gone too far. Let me know if I'm just tripping. I always say, why am I straight? Why? I should be on every damn drug in the uh, universe dealing with this crazy shit. I mean, for real. But let me shout out to uh, Jeremiah. Let me give a shout out to Sharpie Strawberry. Um, uh, let me give a shout out to my true speaker. Thanks for being out there. Uh, they're distorting your rhythm. Absolutely. Shout out to you. Kamisha, you know I'm always glad to see you out there. Um, keep on doing what you're doing. And um, I appreciate you, baby. Braylon, thanks for being out there. Thanks for commenting. Um, Lucid Dreams. Oh, that sounds just really... Mm. Lucid Dreams. Interesting. Um, thank y'all. Thank y'all for participating. What about Sarah Lawson? I thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Brandon. Said Mac. Um, I, I appreciate it. Thank you for being out there, Kevin Harris. So Mims eight eight one Black Titanic. I thank all of y'all for participating. And I hope servant the lover. Hmm. Um, I hope that y'all uh, uh tell me what y'all thinking right now. Tell me, Nat Frog. Let me know. Am I tripping? Y'all really think that Bill Barr resigned because hmm, or is something about to really come down the pipe? Maybe you don't want to be associated with. My mind is just um, thinking uh, a few things now. Miss Teach, thank you for being out there. And it don't usually lead me wrong. My intuition is very strong. So I want to know what y'all's is because I trust y'all's as well. <laughs> so leave a comment below and tell me what type of fascist, fascist craziness what are we getting ready to get ourselves into now? And what do y'all think about the next few days? Um, uh, uh, it's a little more than a, a month for Donald, him for him to get out of the White House. What you think his big move going to be before he go? Because the injury is there. You already see what's happening. You know, can't y'all see the signs of the time? You know? 
and what you think we should do. Man, those, are, those are a lot of questions, I'm sure, but help me out, people. Because I ain't never seen nothing like it. Not in my years. Though I know if I ain't never seen it, and y'all younger than me, I know you ain't never seen it either. Unless you're from some kind of freaking third world country. <laughs> well, that's America now. She's a, a third world country. She's put a firm down payment on it. All right, you guys, I'm gone. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share. Share the video, and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.